Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I need some lip gloss. This isn't lip gloss I want, but I can't remember to move. So it's gonna have to do. Hey guys, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. I am bringing an exciting vid. I've got had a lot going on recently. I've been working a lot. I've been dancing a lot. I've been traveling. And I just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna sit down and talk about what I've been up to and give you my one year update because I did have, I've actually had my one year six month checkup last month on my back and there's been a lot going on in my life. So I just thought I'd give you an update. So hello, if you don't follow me on my social media, then you should, <laughs> um, well you can if you want. And you all know that we announced we are going on America's Got Talent, the Fantasy League, which in a nutshell is like the BGT champions we did. So 40 acts from every single Got Talent in the world got chose to compete against each other. So it's people who have been on Got Talents around the world are competing against each other. 40 got chosen, which is insane. Like when we got the call, we were like, what the hell? We got chosen, that's amazing. And of course, it, we got to fly out to LA. You know, they, they flew us out to LA, put us in a gorgeous hotel um, on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood, which is just one of my dreams. So I've just filmed that and we only got back about three weeks ago and we've been able to announce it. So that's been going on in my life, which is crazy. But yeah, so that's the latest in my life. It, it's not out until January, the new year. The fact that Mersey Girls has made it international. We were filming in Los Angeles, Hollywood. Like, what a dream. What an absolute dream come true. Anyway, my back. So I did, just before we flew to LA, I did have my one year, six month checkup. So I go down to the hospital, I get the x-ray and then I speak to my surgeon after. I thought that, that was, this was my last different appointment, but I got a letter through here saying that I have to come back next year as well. So these appointments are just never ending, but it's worth it. And it's really helpful to know that I'm making good progress. So I did in my one year, six months, everything is going really well. I've got some x-rays and stuff from the day. I always hate going back to the hospital that I had surgery. And I just think it gives like, it was such a terrible time for me. And I can just block that on my mind most of the time quite easily just forget I've had surgery and then it's like I see a picture of me in surgery and it all comes back or I go to the hospital and I'm like oh it is horrible I think I genuinely think I've got some sort of PTSD it's so weird when I watch videos of it I'm like that's not me and then sometimes I'm watching the videos and I'm like oh my god that is me and then I'm like can't watch it can't watch it because it's just like this oh it's horrible yeah anyone diagnose me <laughs> um but anyway everything was going really really well he basically it was a week before i flew to la my surgeon i had the appointment and my surgeon was like yeah you're good to try and do as much dancing as you can and i was like oh my god the timing of that so obviously a year and a half has passed and i still i think you just get used to it so i still i can't just sit lie on my back and sit up i still have to like roll on my side and push myself up to get out of bed um which is something i thought was so abnormal but now it's just the norm to me that i don't even really think about it it's just what i do um my scar is like fully gone i'll have to show you it i'll get it out in a bit um, I do have little lumps, which in like that you can see in my back. And when I asked my surgeon, he said that that's screws. Like you can literally see the metal. It's it's so weird. Um, but he said it's because I'm quite slim as well. Um, Alexa, what time is it? The time is five thirty-five p.m. Thanks. Sorry. Um. So yeah, you can see some screws in my spine, which is crazy. It's so weird to me flexibility wise do you know what i'm gonna sh i'm just gonna show you show you my scar as well okay so still got the torso which i never ever dreamed i'd have still find it really surreal looking in the mirror and seeing no rib hump 
actual hip, like waist with my body growing five inches still find it bizarre that I grew five inches overnight I don't know if I'll ever get used to having like my dream body because for literally well I guess like 18 years 19 years of my life I didn't have the body of a normal person obviously I had a big rip pump on the front a rip pump on the back my torso was just like this big and my legs were like that long um so I guess you could say that my dreams did come true in that um and I'm still I don't think I'll ever get used to having the body that I've always dreamed of but anyway enough of me babbling my heart is literally gone I don't know what you can say but it's pretty much non-existent and I don't know if you can see the little lumps see that little lump right here that is a metal screw like what so weird and flexibility wise here the cat and dog this is how much hump i can get this is how much down i can go so there's actually quite a big like dip that way just not like i can literally only get a flat back there but i can dip it quite a lot because they didn't fuse that bit of my spine oh my god slay sorry but if i try to like slouch this bit I literally can't um that is something i've just had to kind of get used to and a year down the line I don't, I don't i don't know i can feel like that it's stiff i don't know i think you do get used to it and like especially because it when i think about like sitting in like a pub or something or going to a restaurant sitting down felt so weird and I felt like I was dead upright. Whereas now, I don't think that I look upright or weird. I, or maybe I still do and I've just got used to it. Um, so that is something I've definitely got used to. Like the flexibility stiffness. But not when it comes to dancing. Oh, it's so frustrating. Like, obviously I've got all these amazing things. And the surgery went really well. And I've got... The body i always wanted which is invaluable like i feel good leaving the house for the first time in 18 years like no, like that is money can't buy that do you know what i mean and i would never change that and i'm so grateful that it went as well as it did because i literally could have gone under and you might have straightened it a tiny bit and then i would have just been left with the same body or any little improvement but i've literally got ugh, everything i ever wanted but i have been going to dance class more and more and at like obviously i need to cut myself some slack and just pat myself on the back for the progress i've made because when i first went i was like so skinny because i was really poorly from the surgery i couldn't give any energy to the dance at all i couldn't even bend whereas now i can i, can, I think i can move i can dance obviously wouldn't be able to do it professionally and i've accepted that i think I think I don't know if I if I've really accepted that. I think going to LA last month, I was like gutted because all the girls went to a class in Millennium and I I didn't go because I thought if I go, the teacher won't know like I've had surgery or the other people in the class and then so I have to change a lot of the dance sometimes and to amend it to my body and people might just be like she doing that like who does she think she is like she can't do it and then i probably just shouldn't care what they think but i was like no i'm not gonna go it's fine when i go to class i do have to change quite a lot of stuff there's times when people do a backwards roll or if, even a forwards roll or a big jump to the ground i can't do like any of that really i mean thankfully i go to a class in liverpool um it's joss's classes and he's he knows my situation and he it's just a class where you can have fun you know there's there's literally no pressure in that class you go because you enjoy dancing so he knows my situation he doesn't mind if i change his choreo because i physically can't do one of the moves he just doesn't even probably bat an eyelid because he just knows that like what i've been through and that i'm there because i didn't want the surgery to stop me and i still want to be able to do my passion i think when i first went to dance it was like got in really like have i had i watched the first few of the classes and i was just like i'm never gonna be able to move like that ever again and 
even now like i leave i either leave absolutely ecstatic because i just had the best time of my life and i felt proud that i could do most of the moves or i leave feeling depressed because i just can't do it anymore and that's just, i think that's just how class is going to be to me people like always say oh but you've come so far like you've been through that and you can still do most of the moves but it's like i just want to i feel like i can't let go in dance anymore you know i just want to be able to like just do the dance and just be like ah not think about anything not think oh watch your back on that bit i just want to like let go and live in the moment in the dance because that's why people dance at the end of the day but i, I feel like i can't do that and i i don't know I, ha I don't think i have done that in class yet i think i when i went to la i don't know actually even if i did when i was in la on on the show when we filmed in the show i think i it's still always like in the back of your mind like you've got two metal rods looking your spine together something that is also weird is i can feel the metal rods in my spine and i forget about them obviously it's been like a year and a half i'm just like doing my thing walking around i'm just doing my thing you know living my life but then sometimes like when it's cold especially i can feel them or i'll be walking and I'll just, like, remember I've got metal rods in my spine. And I'm like, oh, and I can feel them. Like, now I'm speaking about, I can feel, like, oh, it goes through me. It's like, like, I can't explain it. Like, it feels like there's two contraptions like this holding my spine together. Like, these big metal things like that. And I get, there is. Oh, it goes through me. Oh, my God, it won't go away now. The... But yeah, I can feel that. I want to stop speaking about it now because I, it just reminded me that I can feel it. But I used to feel it 24-7 when I first had the surgery. Like, I do forget about it. But when I'm dancing, I can feel it the whole time. So I, I don't know if that will ev if I'll ever just be able to let go and just dance or if I'll always be a little bit cautious. Because um, at the end of the day as well, I don't want to damage myself. No, I, I, I'm not doing another surgery, like... Hell no. I just... Well, no. I'm not doing enough surgery. I don't think I am mentally strong enough. Like, never mind physically. And if you haven't had surgery and you're watching this, I'm not trying to scare you off. Like, I've had four, and every single time I've felt like I can't do it. But you just get through it because you don't really have another choice at the end of the day. So I could do it, but... I couldn't. So, yeah, I really don't want to, like, damage myself as well. So, overall year post-op i would say i think about it every day in some sort whether i feel the rods whether it's like getting up in the morning or whether it's just seeing the scar oh my shoulder blade still pops out as well i should have showed you that maybe another time and um, yeah so i do i think about it every day but it, it's not something that is like affecting my life anymore you know I, I go to work I see my friends I go to class I do everything that I would want to do I'm trying to think what I couldn't do like what have I missed out in the year oh I don't think I could go on like water slides I don't know if anyone's had surgery and been to a water park or been on rides I don't really like fairground rides anyway but I don't think I could, and water slides, I don't think I could lie down on them, I don't know, I feel like it would really hurt, because the, the screws are, put, like, sticking out a bit. What else have I missed out on? I'm trying to think. I don't know, I don't, I haven't been on the trampoline, and I don't think that I could, but maybe I could. I don't know, what, what can you guys do, like, like, and what can't you do if you've had the surgery, I want to, I want to know. The plane journey was something to talk about, I can't sit on a chair for more than eight hours like it was hard after two and a half hours my hips get really sore and i have to go for a little walk but then other days it doesn't get sore at all it's really strange like it was so uncomfortable for my back i don't know what it is i think it's because i can't just like just chill you know i'm always just like um but yeah i think i'm doing well never take pain meds for my back ever touch wood anymore um so i'm proud i'm really proud of myself and I, I probably don't take enough time to reflect about what i've been through but because i, I literally can't look at the photos or the videos because it just gives me ptsd but i actually might 
like react to one of my vlogs because I think it'll be good. I think it'll be healthy for me. I'll probably cry so much. But yeah, I might do that. Yeah, that is just a kind of rough overview on my life, you know, what I can and can't do a year on, how I'm feeling a year on. Um I have some cool videos. I vlogged the whole of LA when we were filming. Um so that that's is a really good vlog. So that's coming out whenever my episode is out. I think I wanna react to the dance that we do on America's Got Talent and just speak about the process of it as well. Um because it was it was really cool. I also might get the Mersey Girls on the channel and we can do some cool challenge videos. I think that'll be fun. Um so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm really grateful for all your support and I will see you next time.